Sergeant Bell, this is a surprise. I wanted to speak to you away from Denise. I know she wants what's best for Damon, and so do I. But I suspect your interest stems from something else. Sergeant Bell, if you think I'm after a piece of the windfall that you're hoping to get from NYPD, let me put your fear to rest. I don't usually hold out hope for something that's never going to happen. What they're offering Damon isn't a lot, but he's entitled to something. His hand is destroyed. His future as a musician is gone. Don't get me wrong, what happened to Damon was horrific, and he deserves justice. But I've seen a million cases like his, and they just don't move the needle with the public. To put it bluntly, ain't no protesters gonna be stopping traffic on Fifth Avenue because some black kid can't play the guitar. You rather he ended up a hashtag? I'd rather this not happen to him at all, but we don't live in that kind of world. So why don't you and I change it? Change what? The world. Truth is, you're half right. There is something behind my interest in Damon's lawsuit. You. I don't understand. I'm guessing you were once like me. A young black cop who thought the only way to make systemic change was from the inside. But you must know by now that if policing in America was ever going to self-correct, it would have happened already. I'm a cop because I believe in the job, Congressman Kilbride. I have no doubt. I've been following your career. Now, that little setback with Richard Wheatley notwithstanding, you are a rising star. But soon you are going to smack your head against the blue wall. And then you'll see what I saw. Real power is not in enforcing the law. Real power is in making the law. I'm not after power. And I'm not a politician. Not yet. But it wouldn't take much to turn you into one. 